All right, YouTube, what's going on? So as we enter the 2020 baseball season, one of the hot topics this off season has been the Houston Astros and the cheating scandal. So you can go back and we can look at as far back as the Black Sox um, during the World Series and being banned from baseball. You know, we have the, the Pete Rose um, betting scandal. We had the steroid uh, error and all the scandals that came with it that are still today affecting Hall of Fame voting, right? The steroid thing is. And so now we have this new new Houston Astros cheating scandal. And what does it do for baseball? And, and what should baseball do with it? Well, as a fan, my belief is if you are involved in cheating, you participate in cheating in the game of baseball, you need to be tossed out, all right? The problem is I think baseball hiccuped during the steroids scandal because they didn't make a statement then, right? They got too concerned about, you know, the dealing with the Players Association and, and strikes and everything else. And so instead, baseball just started handing out these little 30 game, 60 game, 90 game suspensions, um, which are now higher than that. But you, you get what I'm saying, that they weren't firm then, right? They weren't firm then. And so after that, people start looking at it going, well, I mean, maybe cheating's worth the risk. And so in a sense, baseball kind of got what they asked for. The only problem is we're talking about an entire team. We're talking about a, fran a baseball franchise. We're talking about a major city. We're talking about um, some wonderful talent uh, that is on this Houston team. And what is baseball going to do? Well, we've already seen it with the, you know, the the coach, A.J. Hinch, um, the GM over there, who was a great baseball mind, you know, them both being um, fired, right, and uh, suspended from baseball. And now we saw um, up in New York Mets, we saw Beltran get, uh, lose his job basically over it. Um, Cora in Boston another one gone all over this scandal but i don't think they can stop there i think they're going to have to go after the players they're going to have to do something to the players who participated in the cheating and if they don't do that they are opening up the door for massive amounts of cheating going forward because players are going to sit back and they're going to look. And these coaches, if, if a coach comes to them or a manager or a GM comes and goes, all right, guys, here's what we figured out. We can do this. It's outside of the rules, but, you know, we can do it. And the players are going to go, well, it's not my neck on the line because look what happened over here. You know, no players got in trouble. So, you know, it's just the GM and the, and the managers and the coaches. They're all gone, right? But as a player, they did, it didn't affect the players at all. So players are going to be willing to participate in cheating now. Because there's no backlash on them. And so what Major League Baseball is going to have to do, in my opinion, as a fan, is step it up and do something to these players. You're going to have to. Okay? You're going to have to. Um, if you want to make a statement, you better make it big. You better make it big. You know? I, I, my gut tells me, right? The, the, the first thing I want to say is get rid of all of them. Right? Ban them from baseball. Pete Rose is banned from baseball. Let's ban them for cheating, right? The Black Sox players were banned from baseball. Let's let's ban them. They cheated. Let's ban them from baseball. We, there's no place for them here in baseball. None at all. But I don't think that's a realistic outcome of what's going to happen. And I would look for it to be a little bit different. And things are going to be different than that. Because what I think is going to happen is I think the players are going to get a pass. And I don't think that's right. And I think it's opening the door for future problems. So baseball, listen up. If you want to make a statement and make sure just nothing like this happens again in the future, you're going to have to step up and do more than suspend managers and GMs and coaches going to take more than that to prevent this going forward because if the players have no discipline because of their actions and let's just be honest they were involved 
all right? They can, you know, you, <laughs> they know what's going on. They're the ones getting the signs. They're the ones knowing the pitch is coming, all right? They're involved in it. They're hands on in this situation. Their hands are dirty. They are just as guilty as Alex Cora or AJ Hinch. You know what I mean? They're, they're just, you know, you can't pretend they're not because some of them are stars of your game. And if you don't, all you're doing is setting a bad example for little league players coming up, for high school players, for college players, for minor league baseball players. You're setting a bad example for them by not doing anything about it. And I think it's time you step up, you take it, you know, and, and run with it and apply some kind of discipline to these players who are cheating in order to save the game of baseball. All right, guys, that's my, my editorial as a fan, my thoughts on the process and what's going on and what happened in Houston this year. A lot more content coming to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and get ready for baseball in 2020.